Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Camilla Pecora and today I'm going to talk to you about the clinical use of Surgiblaster Sinus. As you can see, there's the cold color. In this case, we have the green one, so we can easily recognize them when we stock them. Also, this is a slightly uh, larger uh, pack, so packaging, so you can see it and it comes in a form of syringe. You can open it from the sides where you can pull it out and this is how you see the biomaterial. All right, a little trick when before the first use is that you actually, if you open this cap, you know that it's filled up until the end over here. So what you wanna do is you wanna pull it a little bit downward in order for the granules to go back. And this is how we open it. As you can see, we have a longer edge, so we can easily put the biomaterial inside one-handedly, actually, because we can do this and push the biomaterial inside of the defect. Remember that with the respiratory movement, the membrane will suck the biomaterial on the inside, but also you can use the same instrument that you use uh, to uh, elevate the sinus membrane. You can see the different size of the granules. They go from one millimeter to two millimeters. Another trick that you might want to use is that to make this biomaterial more comfortable to use, you can use a little bit of uh, physiologic solution. In this case, we're gonna use the regular. We open this up and we actually take the little piping and we can pour a little bit of the liquid inside in order to make it a little more easy to work with. And with the instruments, you can put it down and also remember to push it slightly inside with the TNT gauze.